Guys, welcome to a new era. I am the new Everton manager and this is my new career. Thanks for joining me once again. And it's going to be great. It's something fresh for the channel and I can't wait to get going. It was a hard choice, but I finally fell upon Everton. I couldn't think of another team to manage after Manchester United in the Premier League out of every single team that was in the season of 2012 and 2013. And to be honest, Everton aren't really a bad team. They've got a great squad, really strong side after what David Moyes has done in real life. He's really built them up. A great set of players. And I went to take a look at the squad reports, see the sort of players that I'm going to be dealing with over this next season. And we got players like PNR, Ross Barkley, and Nietzsche B, Leighton Baines, Tim Howard, who is a former Man United goalkeeper, Jelovic as well, John Heitinger. There's so many players. I. Fellaini, who, how could I forget Fellaini? I cannot wait to get going with this season, I really can't. It's going to be a tough one and I didn't even have uh, European football at the start, I didn't activate that. So I'm going to be working my ass off to get us into the Europa League and hopefully have a successful campaign in that. As well as the FA Cup and the, uh, the Capital One Cup. I'm not too sure about the Premier League. I'm not going to be going for that title just yet. I still need to build up the team. As you can see here, my budget allocation, I've only got 7.5. And this is sort of an idea of what David Moyes had in real life when he was at Everton. But he made the most of it. He made Everton a really stable side. Even some of the top teams like United, Chelsea, City, Arsenal, Liverpool, they, they find it a real struggle to go against the Toffers. And as everybody does, as soon as they start a new career on FIFA, they've got to go straight to the transfer, see which players they can sign up. And this is my shortlist that I came up, which will probably change over time. We've got players like Wilfred Zaha, Jordan Ayew, Quincy Owusu Bay, Darren Bent. And there's also some players in there, which is kind of reminiscent for me from, from when I first started liking football, when they was just in their glory days, like Nesta and Mikel Forsell. Just brilliant. And look at this. Arsenal were keen to sign Tevez. They probably won't get him. And Mats Hummels is in talks with Man City. Hopefully he goes to Manchester United. I did put an inquiry for Quincy Owusu Bay, hoping to bring him back to the Premier League. And Panathinaikos said they would consider a bid in the region of 2.4 mil. Marseille cons would consider a bid in the region of 6.5 for Jordan Ayew, who is a very young prospect for the future. Uh, we get a transfer offer then for Jelovic from Sunderland for 4.3. I do reject because he's one of the better strikers that we have at the overall rating of 77. So anyway, we start our pre-season friendly. It's my first game in charge with Everton. And we're playing at, uh, we are playing at Goodison Park. Why wow, that feels so weird saying that because normally I'd be saying it playing at Old Trafford. Anyway, this is my start 11. Tim Howard, Coleman, Jaggy Elka. We got Heitinger, Baines, PNR, Osman, Gibson, Morales, uh, Fellaini and Jelovic up front. And it was a pretty dull game. Look at that player face plant in the grass. And I thought it was going to be a penalty. Marouan Fellaini swings in across, but the goalkeeper comes out and punches it away. And at half time, we were still level with Deportivo. Not a bad first half with my first game in charge of Everton. I bring on Anicha B and Phil Neville and taking off Osman and Jelovic, hoping to get that goal. It's a pair of fresh legs as well. I did think I gave away a penalty here. But no, I didn't. But full time came around and the game ended nil-nil. Kind of disappointing seeing that it was my first game in charge. But that's okay. We're going to we're gonna work on that. We're going to build the squad up. After the game, I do put in a transfer offer for Quincy Owusu Obey. His overall is 73, but have you seen his pace? It is 90. And I would love a player like that because, as we all know, pace is a main factor on FIFA 13. Our next friendly game is against Marseille. I'm only going to be sharing the goals because it's only the pre-season friendlies. They, there's not much on the line. And I just want to move on to the season ahead. And there is my starting 11. We've got the likes of Mucha who starts in goal. Destin, Phil Neville, Barkley up front. And Mikel Forsell who I did sign on a free transfer. And Ross Barkley opens up the scoring. Putting that past the Marseille goalkeeper. He is such a hot prospect for the future as well. Ross Barkley is only at the age of 19 I think or 20. But that's still a young age. And he was 
kick-starting our, our season, Ross Barkley, with that goal, making it 1-0. Uh, Ross Barkley was on fire. He found the head of Jaggy Elka, who passed it on to Hitzelsperger, and he makes it 2-0 to Everton just before half-time. And I did just notice that Jordan Ayew was starting for Marseille, who could hopefully be an Everton player before the season starts in the Barclays Premier League. And in the second half, Morales was thrown goal, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and hits a nice finesse shot, making it 3-0 to United, to Everton. <laughs> Classic. I'm not with United anymore, but the final score was 3-0 to Everton. Oh dear, I expect that to happen a lot more in this season. <laughs> anyway, after that game, um, Panathinaikos didn't accept my offer for 2.4 so I put it up to 2.9 Chelsea and Real Madrid are in Benzema talks tell me something new he always seems to go to Chelsea on FIFA 13 and Jan Mucha the goalkeeper for Everton I'm really enjoying my football at the moment and he believes that he's been playing well so I decided to start for our next game our final game in our pre-season against Genoa and here is my start 11. Mucha, Coleman, Jaggy Elka, Diston, Baines, Morales, Gibson, Osman, Pienaar, Fellaini and Anicha B. Put Angelovic out onto the bench. And I've still got that formation of the 4-4-1-1. I'm going to see how that works. I'm going to be trying out different formations as well. And look at that. We almost made it 1-0 in the first half. And Genoa had a great chance of getting a goal as well. We got a free kick here, Bain swinging it in, looking for the head of Darren Gibson, and he almost made it 1-0 to Everton. I do take off Osman Fellaini and each of B for Jelovic, Barkley and Hitzelsperger. Three good players that had a great game against Marseille. And out comes Mucha, who collects the ball. The game ended 0-0, kind of disappointing, but as I've already said, it was only pre-season. There wasn't much on the line. So now all three pre-season friendlies are out of the way. We can get on with the transfers and work towards the start of the season. We get an offer for Tim Howard for 2.1 from Mainz. I decide to reject because he's my best goalkeeper that I have. And look at this, Manchester United target midfielders Ozil and Diamante. They'll probably get Ozil. Panathinaikos come back and they say that they've accepted my conditions for 2.9 for Quincy Owuso Bay. That's a great signing for Everton, I think. And all I've got to do is offer him a contract worth 10000 a week for three years and he's going to be a crucial first team player. European dream for Everton. They predict that I will finish seventh and the key player will be Leighton Baines. I'm really going to be working for maybe 6th or 5th position. Uh, Man City confirm Falco talks. Arsenal and Real Madrid in Higuain talks as well. It looks like it's going to be a very interesting summer of transfers. We get an offer from West Brom for 575000 for Sylvain Distant. And I reject because he's going to finish his career at Everton. Um, all I've got to do here was accept Quincy Owusu Bay, and he'll be an Everton player for the new season ahead. There we go. New signing arrived. Panathinaikos accept big offer. Wasn't really that big. And Real Madrid and United are in Wayne Rooney talks. Ray Wayne Rooney could be going over to Madrid. What are they thinking about? And this was a shocker as well. Aguero transfer demand shocker. It is shocking news because you wouldn't expect that from Sergio Aguero. And look at this for big news, guys. New owner promises success at Everton. He's coming in. And that means we're going to have a good transfer budget before the transfer window shuts. I'm looking forward to it. Guys, you're going to have to stay tuned to see how I use that money. And I promise, guys, I will not be taking the mickey too much with it. Honestly. Anyway, guys, that is the end of this episode. Hope you've enjoyed. Do stay tuned for more, and I'll see you soon. Peace out.